Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you so much for returning. Thank you very much for subscribing. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I hope that you like the content that you find over here on my channel. So if you've seen the title of today's video, we are talking about why I prefer cats over dogs. <laughs> now I'm not saying that I don't believe dogs are great. Dogs are perfectly fine. Dogs are wonderful fur babies as well. But for me personally, I prefer being a cat mom over being a dog mom. And we're gonna talk about why that is. So first, what am I drinking? Uh, in my wonderful Batman mug, I am drinking coffee today. And I have to tell you guys, my favorite coffee right now is the cinnamon vanilla ground coffee from Walmart. It's the great value brand. It is so, so good. I think a lot of people don't think about like house brand coffees whenever they think about a coffee that's really delicious, but this is so good. It is very aromatic. It smells up the whole house when you brew it. It has a very sweet taste. It is not a seasonal item at Walmart, thank goodness. They have it all year round. Go grab you some if you like coffee and you like cinnamon, vanilla uh, types of coffee, definitely grab you some and let me know what you think in the comments below. First, let's get into why I'm making this video. So the reason why I decided to make a video on why I prefer cats over dogs is just to give cats a little bit more love as fur babies, as companions, because they can be just as good companions to people as dogs can. I know dogs get the term man's best friend, and oftentimes people think of them whenever they think of a buddy. So I'm here to talk about my reasons why I prefer being a cat owner and cats over dogs as fur babies. So my number one reason why I prefer cats over dogs is because I believe that cats are more affordable than dogs. So I know that this is gonna be hard for people to hear, but having a dog is more expensive than having a cat. Like you definitely have to have some disposable income when you have a dog, especially if you are one who likes to shop for your dog. You like to buy them the coats, the boots. You like to get them the fancy collars to match the leashes. And you like to get them the nicest dog food in the biggest bag. And then sometimes certain breeds will just cost more to upkeep like their coat. They need certain shampoos or they need to be groomed more often or and there's things like dog shampooers and there's things like doggy groomers and all these sorts of things that come with having a dog as well as where you live that is something that a lot of people don't talk about having a dog is also a privilege because a lot of let's say apartments or maybe even rental units don't allow dogs and so the ones who do they tend to cost more in rent. The ones that are a little bit cheaper, they tend to have a no dog policy because of the cleanup. Sometimes dogs will cause damage to units and the, uh, the landowners or the apartment owners, they want to minimize the expense of having to redo that apartment once you move out. So having a dog means that you have to have a apartment or live in a place that will allow dogs. And usually those are more expensive just because they're able to afford to do that remodeling that comes afterwards, or they're able to provide things like a doggy park or doggy walk area. It costs more money to put those type of amenities in a unit. Now with cats, they groom themselves and they groom themselves very, very well. They're known for how they like to keep themselves clean. And that is very, very important. There are some aspects to grooming that do come in whenever you are having a cat specifically, such as getting their nails trimmed if they tend to scratch on things, or maybe you do have to help them cut their coat because maybe they are shedding a lot or maybe it's a certain season. She's in her treats right now. <laughs> but for the most part, when it comes to grooming, cats are very, very affordable because they take a lot of the brunt work out of it for you. And if you have an indoor cat, that definitely eliminates the need to have to bathe them a lot because they're not getting as dirty as often. And then when it comes to things like shopping for them, oftentimes their food is in smaller quantities. They eat less of it, they tend to nibble and go and then come back later. I've noticed with my cat that I can fill up her bowl and it lasts a couple days. It is something that is so money saving because I'm not constantly having to buy her food. 
Now an expense that dogs do not have is the expense of cat litter because dogs, of course, you know, you walk them outside or if you have like a toy dog, you may have like puppy pads, which I guess those expenses probably even out buying like, let's say a hundred puppy pads every couple weeks versus buying cat litter every couple weeks, something like that. Those expenses may even out there. Okay, had to take a break and give her a treat. She's being super cute. She's just sitting there looking at me. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, expenses. So a lot of the expenses that come with having a dog are eliminated when you have a cat. All right, the number two reason why I prefer cats over dogs is because cats are very independent. Cats will come and go as they please. If you have a cat that is sort of indoor, outdoor, they may just kind of go out and hang out on the porch or they may wander around the house or the apartment and just kind of come back and just chill. And cats are very independent. You can leave them home. You can leave them while you go away on like a weekend or something like that. Uh, maybe not a super long vacation, of course not, but you can leave them and they are just fine. If you have two cats, that's even better because then they'll just kind of play with each other and keep each other company. But even if you just have one cat, they're usually okay. They're very independent. They are able to feed themselves, clean themselves. They don't need your help with a lot of things. They take themselves to their restroom, to their cat litter box. They do things themselves. To be honest, that is my favorite part of being a cat owner is knowing that she's gonna be okay if I need to go somewhere for the weekend or if I need to be out of the house. I work from home now, but I used to work out of the house and I knew that I didn't have to come home and take her out for a walk or I didn't have to come home and maybe she had gone to the bathroom all over the house. That sort of thing doesn't happen with her. You're able to go to work, you're able to go out, you're able to do so many different things without having to worry about bringing your cat along because they would not be okay at home alone. My number three reason for why I prefer cats over dogs is because a lot of cats prefer being indoors. My cat loves being indoors. She does sometimes go out on the patio and she'll sit and she'll sunbathe, but for the most part, she likes to be inside. Cats really enjoy being inside. They enjoy sitting in their cat tree or lounging around on furniture. They enjoy playing with their toys inside. They enjoy running around inside. They get what I call the zoomies, where they like to just run around. Especially once they've learned the layout of the house, they will kind of create their own like little racetrack <laughs> around the house. It is super fun to watch. If you ever, if you don't have a cat and you wanna know what that looks like, check out some YouTube videos of cats getting the zoomies. Cats enjoy being inside and that's really, really good for their health because they're not outside as much, which means they don't really contract any of the different diseases and things that exist outside. They're less likely to fall prey to wild animals outside. They're less likely to get things like fleas and ticks. Yes, cats are super, super great as indoor pets. My number four reason why I prefer cats over dogs is because cats are quiet. I absolutely love my quiet, tranquil, serene home. For the most part, inside my home, we keep it nice and chill. And I really love that. Pris, she's the type of cat who will just perch in her cat tree and lounge around, or she will, you know, walk around and she's not loud, she's not thumping. For cats, they are able to uh, retract their claws. So whenever they walk around on like wood floors, you don't really hear them. But for dogs, they're not able to, and that's no fault to them, but they are not able to. So you usually hear like that that clank of their nails as they walk around. And that's fine, because then you can tell they're coming or they're on their way somewhere. But also it means it just adds to the sound that goes about the house, especially if they're running or they're chasing something. Um, and also when it comes to noise, cats for the most part don't talk. Cats in their natural habitat don't really talk to each other unless they're warning each other or for kittens if they're crying out to their mom but in as a pet cats do tend to adapt a meow so they can communicate with us humans about things like their food wants or if they do need to get out of like a closet because <laughs> that does happen she'll jump into a closet my linen closet and I'll shut the door and then later I'll hear something <laughs> and she's in there she was napping uh so that is something that they do learn to meow for humans benefit to get things that they need but they don't typically if a car goes by or if someone is approaching the house, they don't typically, they don't bark. 
they don't have the ability to bark at the person they may run away or they may go see what it is out the window but they're not making loud noises cats are very very quiet i barely hear a peep out of her unless she wants treats <laughs> um she usually meows at me in the morning because i always give her treats in the morning and then once i come inside it's sort of like a welcome meow and for and that for the most part is it out of her now for cats they do purr it's a calming sound for them. They calm themselves when they purr and then they also use purring for their owners too to show affection and to also help you uh, relax and calm down as well. So that's a little sweet thing. That brings me to number five reason why I prefer cats over dogs is that they can be so, so affectionate. My cat loves to give me like a little forehead bob and she'll put like her little cold nose up against my nose. She is very, very sweet cats have such a bad reputation for just being mean and evil and spiteful and while those situations can happen they are often very very affectionate to an owner that they know loves them and they love them back so that is something that i really really love about cats is that they're very affectionate and it's in a way that i can tolerate dogs can definitely be affectionate they i think that they fall in love with their owner a little bit faster they trust their owner a bit faster than cats do cats are less they're more reluctant to trust you it probably has something to do with how they are so independent they are less likely to trust a human as soon especially if they've been rehomed a lot of cats available for adoption may have once been feral they may have once been outdoors cats that were captured and then treated and then placed up for adoption those cats also may have a tougher time adapting and learning to trust their owners and having a harder time loving their owners because of everything they've been through they tend to be a bit more emotional and they tend to hold on to things and it just takes them more time but with dogs oftentimes they like you as soon as they see you at the adoption center you know they want you to take them home and they want you to love on them as much as they want to love on you and while that is very great and that is very gratifying the level of love that I can tolerate from an animal is a bit quieter and maybe even a bit more reserved like cats are. She's over there. Let's see if we can get her. She's just kind of looking. <laughs> I'll leave her in the frame. But uh, I can tolerate that type of love, like that soft love. I tend to get overstimulated when a dog is jumping up on me or wanting to, you know, they, like I said before, with those retract. Uh, irretractable nails they kind of like poke into you or poke into your legs and things like that or they may be wagging their tail and they're like beating you <laughs> you know with their tail it is all just love from them but it is a little bit more than what I can tolerate so I believe that one of the reasons why I like having a cat's affection more is just that it is a little bit more subdued and a little bit more calming for me and I'm able to relax and she'll be sitting on my lap and that type of love is the type of love that I like to receive from my pet, my fur baby. All right, guys, so I'm going to stop there with my list of reasons why I prefer cats over dogs. I hope that you enjoyed the list. I could go on and on and on. I could make a part two to this video. Let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. I could also make a video about Pris specifically and things about her, her quirks, things that make her such a special, wonderful cat and how we've gotten along in the 10 years that we've been together. I would definitely love to share that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. And also let me know in the comments also cat or dog which one and if you prefer something com something different completely let me know that too i would love to hear uh what type of fur baby companion you prefer in your own life i hope that you really enjoyed this video thank you again for watching and again if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and comment down below if you like this type of content and i will see you guys in the next one